It finally happened. Magic Mask is in Final Cut Pro. You son of a- Set it off. I'm Raphael and welcome to the channel where our goal is to always fix it in camera and then finesse it in post. And today I want to talk about M Roto AI from Motion VFX because this is the one plugin that I've been waiting for ever since the days of Roto Brush in After Effects and then Magic Mask came to DaVinci Resolve. I was like, when will Final Cut get that? and Motion VFX stepped up and created this amazing plugin. Not only the plugin, they actually created a whole Cine Studio plugin set with multiple plugins and really cool stuff. Uh, so MRoto AI is one of them. M Tracker Surface, which allows you to track stuff onto clothes, onto faces, onto skin, onto deforming objects but also like a planar tracker where you want to put stuff on the side of cars or buildings that allows you to do that as well, all in Final Cut Pro. So it really is quite simple to use this plugin. Go to MRoto AI, drag it onto your footage, and you get a little dot that shows up. And then you just paint on, if you're familiar with DaVinci Resolve and the Magic Mask, or even the Roto Brush in After Effects, just paint what you want. It highlights it. Then you go and you click on the tracker. You can track forwards and backwards. So I'm just gonna track backwards. And it really does come down to the thing that you want to mask. That's what it's going to go after. Right now, I just, I'm looking to get the top portion of this. That's more important for me because I wanna put something here in the background. This is a 4K footage and they recommend not to use anything above 4K or anything with too much motion blur. You have multiple settings. So you have super fast, accurate, and fast. The default is set to fast. Then in combination, you can add M Tracker 3D in the background and have stuff that is animated in, if you like alien stuff. This is part of the neon pack for M Tracker 3D, the expansion pack. So once you have a rotoed section you can just add a color fill to it and do some pretty cool transitions so she's rotoed out from the background and just an effect that's added over top and then we just overlay what was there and having this in final cut pro is so great like uh, being able to use this to do color corrections to add graphics behind there to uh, add effects on top of this. It saves so much time not having to go to different apps to do this. And Roto is one of those things where if people had more access to it, they would be able to do more amazing things with it. One of the beautiful things about it is you can actually go back in and paint in portions that were missing before. So we got that I want to make sure that we're getting that the side view mirror. So we just keep adding in just that portion. You can go frame by frame and just paint in the part that needs to be painted in, if that's what you need to do. Or just click the tracker after you've added that in and it should pick it up. This is something that is uh, fantastic where it's like, if I just wanted to roto his face or his head, I'm just gonna erase his neck because I just want his face. I just want his head. And then we're just gonna track that. It's not trying to do the entire body. It's just getting the portion that I want. Like this, these are great tools to have and to be able to do it in Final Cut Pro is so good. Like the fact that it's able to understand and distinguish his hair from the background and not to get too messed up trying to do those and if at any point you find that something's just not clicking right, you can just stop it and just make sure you add it back in. Oh no, and just track the rest. And there we go. 
I'm going to turn it off on the underlying layer. And I'm going to make sure that we have masked video. And then we can... Got his face glitching. Let it go. The same with her. We're going to turn off the roto on the underlying layer. I'm going to switch this from merged to mass video. I'm going to add in the glitch effects just so you can see like what you can really start to build. And this combined with M tracker, I'm going to analyze the footage. I'm going to copy the track. I'm going to paste the track. Just need to scale it down. Let's make sure our the front layer is masked video. So very quickly, you can actually just create some pretty cool stuff, even with seemingly complicated footage. I, I'm so ah, this is so great. And if you're very if you're familiar with Magic Mask from DaVinci Resolve or Roto Brush from After Effects, this works exactly the same way. And, but it uses machine learning to help identify when stuff is moving, and it's in Final Cut Pro. Like I, I don't know how to explain that better. Like having that in Final Cut Pro, you know, Final Cut Pro is my editor of choice, and having those tools that I thought were you know, those amazing tools and those other apps that it's right here and I can just add it as an effect. Like, this is what I've been asking for. I've been hoping that Final Cut would finally get to a point where it's like, oh, I want those tools. Those tools are cool. So I'm really happy that Motion VFX reached out and let me beta test this up to this point. I got really excited when I, I just, I, I read the title and I was like, that's so awesome. M Roto AI, I was like, okay, I know exactly where they're going. I know exactly how I would use this because I've used the Roto tools in After Effects like every single day for almost every project that I work on. There's an application for this. There's a way to use this. And there's some other ones that will only work with people, which are okay, but sometimes I need to Roto a ball or I need to Roto a cup or a plane or a bird or whatever. Sometimes I just need to roto a face or the jacket or something very specific where I can manipulate it in the in either color or by adding effect to it or in the way that where I was able to rotoscope these fine gentlemen out from that scene with the light. I tried this shot in After Effects with Roto Brush and it didn't like these light glares. It wasn't able to detect their outlines as well as this was able to do it. After Effects doesn't have real-time playback. After Effects, I'd have to render every preview just to take a look at it. I can recreate this in After Effects, but it would have taken me longer. So I love the fact that I was able to do this fairly quickly in Final Cut with the built-in tools. Yes, it's a third-party plugin, and they've kind of bundled it all together in Cine Studio, which is a subscription model. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But for me to have these tools natively in Final Cut Pro, it's worth it. It's worth it. The longer I can stay in Final Cut Pro, the more I'm excited to continue working. Final Cut Pro plays stuff back really fast. Final Cut Pro... I'm able to organize all my footage. Final Cut Pro allows me to work in the speed of my thought. That's why I like staying in there as long as possible. I want to stay in Final Cut Pro because it's my editor of choice. So much so that uh, I've actually created a whole course. There's a link in the description called Enhanced Edit. Um, guys, check that out if you want to learn about my whole process and learn your way around Final Cut Pro. I just wanted to share that I'm excited about MRoto AI as a plugin by itself. And the fact that it comes with all this other stuff is just icing on the cake. But MTracker Surface not only does Planar Tracker, but also does Surface Tracker. So those, that's two separate plugins built into one that are now native in Final Cut Pro as a plugin. It's definitely worth checking out. There's a 14 day free trial for you to try out these plugins and see how you like them. There's a link in the description. Make sure you check it out with MRoto AI, with M Tracker Surface. 
and all 15 plugins that come with Cine Studio. And if you want to find out more about plugins that I think are super useful, make sure you check out this video where I talk about some of my favorite. Also, check out enhancededit.com, my Final Cut Pro editing masterclass, where I teach everything that is everything about Final Cut Pro. As always, thanks for watching.